Good morning, friends. Greetings. Welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body is always a healing system, a regenerating system. It is always designed divinely to heal, renew, and regenerate itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, if you have questions about nutrition, if you have questions about prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program or help a loved one get off their medications, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in our second segment. We've got uh, guests coming up at the bottom of the hour, Regina Brett. We'll be talking about her new book, God is Always Hiring. I love Regina Brett's books. They're very inspiring, easy to read. Uh, this one is about... Uh, about work, about finding fulfilling work. She's written in the past about detours, and we'll be talking to her about that. Uh, bottom of the hour, we'll take your calls here in our second segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear recommended or advertised on the Bright Side, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Purchase products directly from them via phone, 866-735-2470, or you can head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, uh, or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com, and you can order products directly off of the websites, or you can sign up and join the Brightside Ben team off the website. Just click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $10 fee. You could start yourself a longevity business and earn the thank you checks and uh, or, uh, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, etc. All for a one-time $10 fee. Of course, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, and they can tell you all about it as well. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. We're going to, going to uh, talk a little bit about acne this first segment, and then if you've got questions or comments or if you want to share a success story, we'll take, we'll take your calls here in our second segment, and then we'll talk to Regina Brett at the bottom of the hour. We've been talking about skin health for a while. We're going to talk about skin now for quite a bit. I, I actually wanted the Bright Side to be a skincare show. And I kind of diverged a little bit in talking about other health issues, but my real love, my real passion when it comes to biochemistry and comes to biology is the skin. I've been in the skincare business since 1983, 32 years. And from a, as a formulator, I've designed products as a pharmacist. I've worked with patients directly as a compounding pharmacist, worked with medications, formulating products. I've been in the skincare business. I've been pre- a presenter at many skincare conferences. I sold skincare products. I sold a skincare. Co- I started a skincare company. Sold a skincare company. Starting another one. I know a heck of a lot about skin. And one of the things I know about skin is that there's a lot of people who don't know about skin who pretend to know about skin, and this results in a lot of distress because people have messed up skin and don't know what to do. Now we've been talking here for a while about acne. We'll probably be talking about it for a little bit, but I think it's important to recognize, and this is an important theme about the bright side what I call the bright side philosophy. The body and the skin are one holistic system. The entire body is one system. It's not made up of parts in the sense that you can treat individual components. The idea of treating just a part of the body, just the bone or or just the eyes or just the skin or just the liver or just the digestive system, the idea of treating one part of the body without having an effect on the rest of the body is called reductionism. And it's a vestige, it's an old idea, it comes from uh, pre-quantum physics days, from the 19th century, and the 18th century, and the 17th century, and we really didn't understand how the human body was put together. 
Today, we understand how the human body is put together, but unfortunately, clinical chemistry, doctor chemistry, therapy has not caught on. And it still thinks it can treat individual components of the body. If you listen to this program, The Bright Side, for any length of time, you're going to hear me talking about the digestive system for everything, and the blood sugar system for everything, and the stress system for everything, because it is these links that connect the entire body the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the stress system, the adrenal thyroid complex. You can't treat one part of the body without addressing these fundamental components. And you can't treat one part of the body without treating the whole body. If there is a pathology or disease in one part of the body, the whole body is messed up. You can't be just pregnant in part of your body. You're pregnant, you're pregnant. You're sick, you're sick. You're healthy, you're healthy. Your skin is messed up, your body is messed up. And this is really good news because it means if we treat one part of the body, in essence, we're treating the whole body. If we use nutrients to heal the skin, the rest of the body is going to benefit too. This is such good news. This should be so inspiring. If you use vitamin A, for example, you just take, uh, just take one example. You use vitamin A for your acne, your bones are going to get better. Your immune system is going to get better. Your digestive system will get better too. On the other hand, if you use Accutane or or now there's no Accutane any longer, but Accutane uh, mimics or knockoffs, or if you use antibiotics or any other pharmacological slash poison intervention, your health is not only going to be uh, not improved, it's going to be made worse. The body in its entirety is going to be poisoned by the treatment. You use nutrients, the body in its entirety is going to be healed. You use poison, Accutane or whatever, antibiotics, steroids, the entire bo body will be poisoned. And this is why the medical model is a cartoon. It's a caricature, it's a joke. With rare exceptions, for the vast majority of cases, there is no skin problem that is not also an internal problem. You can occasionally get some kind of contact irritation or contact allergy if you touch something and you happen to be sensitized. But even then, even if you have a contact reaction, chances are pretty good you got an immune system problem internally. But leaving that aside, 99% of the time, if you're dealing with a skin problem, whether it's acne or eczema or psoriasis, you're dealing with an internal condition, not a topical condition. And this is one of the coolest things about the skin. The fact that the skin is the body, it's one and the same as the body, means that in essence we can read the body if we understand the skin. If we're skin literate, if we understand the language of the skin, if we can read and speak skin, we can use this apparently, seemingly inert covering as a portal to our internal biochemistry. This is why when somebody comes into my pharmacy, when came into my pharmacy before I sold it, and they had a problem, the first thing I would always look at is their fingernails. Fingernails are like a type of skin, but they're a very fast-growing type of skin, and you can read a lot about the inside of the body by the fingernails. You can do the same with the hair, and you can do the same with the skin. If you speak skin, you can read the inside of the body. If you speak skin, you know you don't want to shut down things on the skin. You want to understand the skin. You don't want to suppress the skin. You don't want to suppress the skin chemistry. You want to read it or understand it. And it can give you a, 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 an entire diagnostic tool for the inside of the body. You can read the inside of the body if you can read the skin. It's an opportunity. Our skin problems are an opportunity for us to assess, for us to diagnose, for us to correct, ultimately, internal biochemical breakdowns. And sure, you can suppress and shut things down and kill living entities that are residing on the skin with antibiotics and proactive type products, but you're missing a golden opportunity to assess and correct what's happening inside the body. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Have you ever felt like the United States government knows way too much about your financial affairs? I continue to hear stories about property seizures, frozen bank accounts, confiscation of stocks and bonds. It makes me wonder if the U.S. citizen will ever again have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Unfortunately, with the Drug and Money Laundering Act, the IRS Revenue Ruling 6045 of 1984, and the Trading with the Enemy Act and Franklin D. Roosevelt's Executive Order of 1933, some precious metal holdings are subject to government intervention. 
For this reason, Midas Resources has prepared a report explaining the boundaries of trading precious metals privately. Whether if you have any intention of trading with Midas Resources or not, I have instructed my representatives to give this report out free. Call for your free copy at 1-800-686-2237. When investing, always proceed with caution. Again, call 1-800-686-2237. Exercise your legal right to trade metals privately. 1-800-686-2237. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has set the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at one 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. We're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. I'm going to take your calls here in this sec this segment. At the bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Regina Brett about her book, God is Always Hiring. It's a book on how we relate to our jobs and how we relate to our work. This is a healthcare program at the end of the day. And as I've said so many times before, even though we focus on the physical aspect of health, health is multidimensional. We are multidimensional. Our bodies are multidimensional. Our lives are multidimensional. So it makes sense that health would be multidimensional, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. And even though we all focus a lot on the physical aspect, and I love chemistry and biochemistry, for uh, somebody who's going to really claim to be a healthcare professional, if we're really interested in taking care of our health, we've got to address all the dimensions of health, and that includes, yes, spirituality, not religion, spirituality, mental nature, how we think, how we feel, and then how we eat and how we live our lives from a physical perspective. So we'll be talking to Regina Brett about finding fulfilling work. So much of our day is spent at work, a third of our lives, if you do the eight-hour day thing, the nine to five thing, a third of our lives is spent working. So 
or our adult lives anyway, is spent at work. So it makes sense that we want to understand how to be healthy and how to, how to have effective, productive, successful, and happy lives. We've got to understand this aspect that's called, quote, work, unquote. And we talked to Regina Brett about that. She's one of my favorite authors, actually. I've been reading her stuff for a couple of years anyway. Our number, eight, uh, 855- 844-236-6010. Yeah, by the way, we've been, we've been talking skin and we've been talking acne now for a couple of, maybe a week or two, and we'll be talking about it for a while. And even if you don't have acne, I want you to understand that you can still benefit from some of these ideas because there's not a lot of things that go wrong in the body. The body, yeah. At the end of the day, it's all about cells. Cells growing too fast, cells growing too slow, cells making the wrong stuff, making too much of the right stuff. So if you're dealing with acne, you're basically dealing with the same kind of problem that you have if you have osteoporosis or uh, any other chronic degenerative disease, arthritis, autoimmune problems. You've got cells that are growing too fast, cells making the wrong stuff, cells that are misshapen and growing incorrectly, etc. And all of this can be controlled using digestive and dietary strategies. Same thing as if you have any internal condition, any autoimmune condition, or any other health challenge. It can all be controlled by modifying nutrition, by modifying your diet, by controlling digestive, uh, controlling uh, or modifying digestive problems, restoring digestive health. And if you're not dealing with acne, but you've got another kind of health crisis, you can still get a lot of ideas and get a lot of tips and get a lot of uh, good health strategies by applying some of these things that we're talking about when we're talking about acne. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about vitamin A and then uh, talk about another We'll talk about pore size. I'm going to talk a little bit about pore size. So many people complain about their pores. Well, guess what? As it turns out, pores become enlarged, or at least appear to become enlarged, for some of the same reasons that our body breaks down in a general sense. We'll be talking about that. Uh, if not tomorrow, I'll probably get to that the day after tomorrow. And then we'll talk some more about, uh, about how skin cells grow and what we can do topically in terms of exfoliation to help restore our skin back to health. We'll do all that tomorrow and uh, over the next few days. Time to hit our phones. 844-236-6010. Dawn in Washington. What is going on? Hello. Greetings. Um, good morning, Ben. Um, good morning. I am 55 years old. Okay. Um, five years ago, I was diagnosed with osteoporosis. Okay. Uh, degenerative disc disease. Okay. Along with um, polyperipheral neuropathy. Okay. Fancy schmancy Latin there. Your body's yeah. falling apart, Dawn. That's English. Exactly. <laughs> no, that, that's a little dramatic, but that's basically what's happening. Osteoporosis, the bones are getting weaker. Um, neuropathy means there's some kind of inflammation in the, uh, in the nerves. What was, this, what was the middle thing you said there? Uh, degenerative disc disease. Okay, same oh, idea. Okay. Your, your body's just dissolving, and it's secondary to sure. inflammation. Basically, that's it. Dissolving body, secondary to inflammation. Now, I don't know how long you've been listening to the show, so let me ask you a couple questions, all right? Mm-hmm. Inflammation, you know, you've heard that term, right? right? Obviously, right? Inflammation. So what is inflammation indicative of, do you think? What is, it, what is it pointing to? What is it a sign of? It's almost synonymous with it's one word. Kind of, of, of the body's fighting something. Oh, perfect. How did you know that? Have you been listening? That's mm. exactly what it is. The body's fighting oh. something. Okay. It's a sign of the immune system. It's the okay. calling card of the immune system. Inflammation is the calling card of defense. Immunity means defense, so we'll just call it defense. Okay. And inflammation. And if you if you listen to health shows on the radio and doctors on TV, and now inflammation is the big thing. Everybody's talking about inflammation being a cause of everything. Well, it is, but inflammation mm-hmm. doesn't tell you anything. That's just a word. If we link inflammation to defense, now we can start to get somewhere because defense implies offense. There's no defense without offense. There's no yin without yang. There's no head without tails. They all go together. So if there's a defensive reaction, something's getting into the body. You follow me? Mm-hmm. Now, now, the body becomes weakened under conditions of nutritional deficiency, so you've got to throw that into the mix. But between something getting into the body, causing a defensive response, and nutritional deficiencies, you've got the core of the disease process, and you also have the answer to the disease process. Number one, figure out what's getting into your body that shouldn't be. And number two, get yourself on the basic Mighty 90 essential nutrients. So let's, let's take the mm-hmm. first component first. What's getting into the body inappropriately? Well, you can guess at it, but you don't need to guess at it. The main source of entry of poisons or toxins or some kind of offending agent into the body is going to be food. 
Now you can inject stuff in through the skin, obviously, or if you have a burn, something you can get through. Or, you know, th th these are kind of rare occasions. You may be breathing mm -hmm. something in, but for the most part, it's going to be something you're eating. So immediately, Dawn, get yourself on a, uh, uh, get yourself, uh, start doing a food diary. Okay? okay. Start writing down everything you eat and how your body feels, especially from a digestive system perspective: bowel movements, gas, bloating, discomfort, heartburn, etc. A couple hours after you eat that food, four hours after you eat that food, six hours after you eat that food. Keep a running total. Every couple hours, how you feel, and then you want to do that for a few weeks. And if you eat eat simply, just like one type of food, instead of instead of a chicken salad sandwich, just have a piece of chicken. Instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, have just peanuts kind of thing. So you can figure out what's causing what. You're going to start to notice that your neuropathy gets worse when you eat certain foods. You'll also notice that you have some digestive conditions. You probably already know. If you're 55 years old, you've been around long enough to know you probably already have some foods that cause you problems. And that's kind of a head start for you. But you want more information, so you write it all down. The second thing you're going to want to do simultaneously with all of that is you're going to, and by the way, sugar counts as a toxin. Sugar counts as a problem. So keep very close attention to how you respond to sugar. Uh, processed flours, I don't eat much sugar. Oh. processed flour, cereal, breads, right. potatoes, rice, all those things get broken down into sugar. So those count as sugar. So keep track of those. Okay, good. The second thing is you're going to want to start to build up the digestive system and the body in general with nutrition. The Biolumin Nightly Essence probiotics are your first step in correcting digestive problems. And while it may not seem like probiotic bacteria related to bones, they are. And it may not seem like probiotic bacteria related to neuropathy, it is. And it may not seem like probiotic bacteria related to degenerative joint disease, or disc disease, it is. Get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Probably a good idea to start doing fermented vegetables with it. And that'll get you not only the, the good bacteria, but it'll get you some good prebiotic fiber that the uh, bacteria can live on. Simultaneous with that, get yourself on the Fucoid Z product from Longevity which is, mm -hmm. will help coat and soothe the digestive system, and then get on the Mighty 90 as well, the entire Mighty 90. You probably want a good source of protein too, because if you're not absorbing your protein or getting enough protein, it's going to be difficult to build bone uh, and build discs as well. I like whey protein. Egg protein is also good, and hemp seed protein too. Use the ultimate enzymes with your protein. Dawn, I got to go. That's the break. Uh, okay. That's the music for the break. Thanks for calling. Uh, we're going to be talking to Regina Brett when we come back from uh, this break, don't go away. Now you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins, but did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 
So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Positive results from satisfied customers of Heart and Body Extract continue to pour into our website, hbextract.com. This is Al from New Jersey. One day I saw your ad for Heart and Body Extract, and it mentioned that it would help me with angina, so I decided to order. I figure I had nothing to lose. Heart and Body Extract supplies your body with everything it needs to balance itself and maintain optimal heart and circulatory health with no negative side effects. I took the formula three times a day as directed, and I kid you not, within four days, my angina pain was completely gone. Order HB Extract by calling 866-295-5305 or online at hbextract.com. That's 866-295-5305 or hbextract.com. I could not believe it actually stopped the pain. Heart and Body Extract actually works. This is just an amazing product. Even the numbness in my hands is completely gone. Heart and Body Extract for a long and healthy life. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. We're back on the Bright Side. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and you can order products right off the web. You can also check out my blogs, pharmacistben.com, and now criticalhealthnews.com. And you can sign up uh, to join the Brightside Ben phone team right off the websites, or call the Brightside Ben. Uh, I'm sorry, join the Brightside Ben team off of the websites. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, and they can help guide you through the process. All right, I'm very excited to talk to our next guest, Regina Brett. I've been reading her stuff now for a couple of years. Her uh, previous book, somebody gave it to me for a present. I found it to be super duper inspiring, and I check in with it uh, once every few days anyway. God never, uh, God never blinks, and it's about something Regina calls life's little detours. Hopefully we'll get to talk about that for a minute, but uh, Regina's going to tell us about her new book, God is Always Hiring, and it's a book about finding fulfilling work. A third of our lives are spent at work if we work a typical nine-to-five type of job, so it behooves us to understand how to take advantage, how to exploit work, how to use work to have a more fulfilling life, and Regina will tell us all about that. Please welcome to the Bright Side, Regina Brett. What's up, Regina? 
Ben, thanks for having me on your show. I love your thank energy. You. <laughs> thank you for thank you for your work. It's really super inspiring. I love inspiring stuff that's easy to read. You can just kind of pick it up and 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 just get a, a little tidbit and maybe at the beginning of the day and or when you wake up in the morning and help guide you through the day or maybe before you go to bed even. And and work is such an important subject. We spend so much of our lives at work. And one of the things I noticed when I read your book, God is always hiring 50 lessons for finding fulfilling work is that there's that work is almost like a metaphor for life and everything that's true about finding fulfilling work is true about finding a fulfilling life correct it is and think about how much time we spend at our work it's almost a third of our life when you think about eight hours a day 40 hours a week and so many people have jobs that they tolerate that they don't celebrate and i wrote god is always hiring because i really want people to find their mission in life their real sole purpose that the place where what they would love to do, the world needs it done, and it's like, wow, they can live happily ever after right now. Now, tell us, you have some personal stories. You're not exactly Pollyannish about this thing. You've had your own, uh, you've experienced the vicissitudes of life yourself, correct? I've made so many mistakes and stumbled on so many broken paths. I, I want to help other people maybe kind of prevent a little bit of those dead ends. You know, I started off uh, on this broken road years ago when um, I dropped out of college at 21 when I was pregnant. I wasn't married. And I felt like my life just came to a crashing halt. And it did, but it gave me a new opening. And I think sometimes when we're in the midst of a crisis, maybe you got fired, downsized, you know, somebody, you're spouse left you, whatever, it seems like the end, when really it's a beginning. You just mm. can't see the beginning yet. Well, you ever hear that, that uh, I guess, it's a, 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 a saying about the, what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the butterfly calls its birth or something along those lines? Yeah, that, that's right, a, the right. Idea. That's the idea you're talking about. And we, when we're going through trauma, we're going through disaster, whether it's physical things like cancer or more psychological things like losing a job, it seems like the end of the world, right? But it's hard. How do you get from that position of seeing your disaster as the end of the world into seeing it as a birth? Can you do it while it's happening? Or should you do it while it's happening? You know, I think... It's a gift if you can see it while it's happening, but I never could. In the rearview mirror, it's all clear. But when mm -hmm. you're right in the middle of it, it just looks messy. But there's a miracle tucked in the mess. And you That's just awesome. have to wait it out. It's like that story about the kid who, who gets a, he's digging through the coal he gets for Christmas. And he, you ever hear that story? He gets a bag of coal for Christmas. He's looking through it and looking through it and look, looking through it. No, he, he gets a bag of manure for Christmas. He's looking through it and looking through it and looking through it. He says, I know there's got to be a pony in here somewhere. And, and there's a pony in all the mess that we right. create or life gives us, but sometimes we just can't see it. And my first chapter in the book is called, When You Don't Get What You Want, You Get Something Better Experience. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. So all those jobs that I didn't like, you know, we've all had a job where we say it's a dead-end job. Well, it right. isn't. It's training for whatever life is going to have you do later. Now, that's, how, does, how do you go from a nice saying into actually experiencing that or putting it into practice? I think what you do is while you're in the midst of a job you don't like, you, you frame it and say, okay, I don't love this, but what is it going to teach me? What, what? And once you learn what you need to learn, something else will open up. So anytime life throws me a difficulty, you know, I go into myself petty mode for a few minutes, and then I say, wait a minute, Regina, what are you supposed to learn here? What does God want you to learn so that you can be a better person for whatever happens next? And once I look at it as a learning experience, then I go, bring it on, man. I want to learn this lesson, so I don't have to repeat it. Do you actually say that, bring it on, when things are really... I do. I, yeah? It's funny how I pray now. I'll say, okay, you know, I used to say, God, take away whatever this mess is. And now I realize, when I, when I got pregnant at 21, I tried to pray her away, because it, it felt like a mess. I thought, oh, please, God, don't, don't let me be pregnant, like it was God's uh -huh. fault. You know, we always pray right. God for a mess. <laughs> but I look back, and what the greatest gift of my life was that daughter, who's now 36. Oh, my and I'm gosh, so glad great. that yeah. it happened the way it did because I didn't have any other children. And it was a gift. I just couldn't see it at the time. So now when I pray, I say, you know, God, I don't understand what's going on here, but I always know you've got the best for me. So bring it on, whatever this is. And, and if I miss the, the lesson here, use a billboard or a sledgehammer. That's what I always <laughs> say. Use a billboard or a sledgehammer because I missed it. I, I love what you said. You said you kind of s said this uh, just in passing, but I think it's really important. You said, I don't understand. And that really is important to me because we think we're supposed to understand everything, or even worse, we think we do understand everything. When in reality, our, our brains are dummies, right? Our brains can't see ahead of what's ahead or what's around the curve or around the bend when we're going through some disaster. But for some reason, we don't get that. We think that we know everything that's going on. 
And we think we need to know the whole vision before before we can take one step. And I always want the blueprint. Like, God, if you just showed me the blueprint, I'd say yes. We don't get the blueprint. Yeah. Sometimes we get the clarity for one step. And in my book, God Never Blinks, I say, when in doubt, just take the next right step. That's because great. we always know one step we can make. But yeah. what we do is we whine about the 25 down the road, and then we, right. start, we don't even take that first step we could take. Right. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Right. The first bite, yeah. right? And if you did that one step, you know, when I dropped out of school, I dropped out of college when I was pregnant, when my daughter was six years old and started kindergarten, first grade, I decided to go back to college. And I thought, wow, how am I going to do this? I'm, you know, 25 now, and I've got a child to raise. And it was still one step at a time. So instead of saying, how am I going to finish a huge college degree and how much will it cost? I said, the next right step is to get the catalog for the college. All right. Look at the class. That's right. the step. Now, you can, you can look online now at the, at the courses. You don't, you don't have to pay for them yet. And then you take one. You don't have to pay for four years worth. You pay for one. If you break it into really doable parts, I call it you know, bite-sized pieces, you can, you can do it. Yeah, and that's your books are kind of like that too. It's like you didn't. It's not like you had to write an entire tomb. It's like you have a bunch of lessons, like little individual lessons, right? It's not like you wrote an entire volume of, uh, you know, eight hundred page volume of stuff. It's just individual lessons. I bet each, each one of these lessons probably didn't even take a lot a long time to put together, did they? And you know what's great for me with writing the lessons? One, they're small. You can read it on your lunch hour. You can read it before right. you go to work. They're, they're bite size. And you can kind of get in, get out, try it out. I look at them kind of like tools. My dad was a sheet metal worker. He worked on roofs in the summer and did, you know, gutters and spouting, and then he did furnace in the winter. And he had so many tools. You know, we, we mm. were in the original Home Depot in his garage, you know, tools <laughs> everywhere. And these lessons are kind of like tools. Each and lesson's a tool, like a hand. work. Uh, hang, hold on to that thought, uh, Regina. We've got to take a break, okay? And I also want to talk to you about detours before uh, before you go. So we're talking to Regina Brett about God is always hiring 50 lessons for finding fulfilling work. You can find it on Amazon. I'm Farm Spen. You're listening to The Bright Side. The national crisis is here, and most people are not ready. If you could not leave home, how well would you fare? We've been told for years to have a supply of food stored, but the reasons may be different than you think. Infectious disease, domestic terrorism, and government regulations can and will prevent you from going to the store. If you've ever considered getting a supply of food, now is the time. Call Go Foods at 1-800-648-9753 or on the web at www.storefoodnow.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your 
major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. If you constantly feel run down and tired, your pH level might be low and your body could be full of toxins. If what you drink is not at a pH level of 8 or higher, you are inviting bacteria and acid to thrive in your body. But there is something you can do. Simply add 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops to your water to help your body rid itself of acidic waste, increase oxygen, and raise your pH balance to optimum levels. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops combine a unique formula of the most alkaline minerals in the world. Alkalizing the water you you drink, ridding your body of acidic waste and toxins, and helping you regain energy and vibrant health. And studies show viruses, bacteria, and toxins cannot survive in an alkaline, high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're talking to Regina Brett about her new book, God is Always Hiring. 50 Lessons for Finding Fulfilling Work. So much of our lives, so much of our day, a third of our day is spent at work. So it makes sense that if you want to be fulfilled, you got to find how to find out how to be fulfilled at work. And that's what uh, this book tells you in 50 Lessons. 50 Lessons. Each lesson is a tool, as you were saying before we went to break. Right, Regina? Yeah, you know, I think sometimes people think, well, this lesson didn't work. Well, there's 50. Try which one works. My dad always <laughs> said you can't use a hammer on everything. Sometimes you use a screwdriver, you know, sometimes I, a wrench. You have to find I, the right I, one, right project. I, yeah. I think they all work personally. Did you start, actually? <laughs> I read that you started writing when you were fifty, and that's why you have fifty lessons. Is that right? Well, I started writing when I was a kid, and I hid it in diaries. And I finally became a journalist when I was thirty years old. I graduated from college at thirty. It took me twelve years to get a four-year degree. So I tell people never <laughs> give up. That's know? great. But I was I, one. Uh, I had these kids. I was going to say, I always, want, I always hear stories about people who have been married for a long time and the wife or the husband invariably says, well, I didn't really like him at first, or I didn't really think I'd ever go out with him. Ever. And one person just kept, pers- kept at it and kept at it and kept at it, and then they end up getting married and they're together for a long period of time. So just because something is a no at first doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be a no, right? Just because there's resistance at first doesn't always mean there's, there's always going to be resistance. Sometimes you can't take no for an answer. It's just a temporary answer. You have to find a way to make it a yes. Yes, exactly. I love that. So uh, everything's done in 50 chunks or 50 tools, and that's how you write your books, and which is really neat because it makes it so accessible and so easy to understand. You have, uh, I read you have a degree in religious studies, like a master's degree, correct? I do. It came about because I, I always loved God and the mystery of God. And so I took one class at John Carroll University, and I loved it. So then I took the next one and the next, and then I thought, why don't I just did it, get a degree? And again, I didn't calculate the whole cost of time and money and all that. I just took one class, one class, and then one day graduated. Did you actually have a thesis about God or about religion or religious studies? I did. Studies? I had, a, had a write an 80-page thesis, and I compared uh, the writings of Vince Bingo to the Psalms, because the Psalms in the Bible are all about the ups and downs of life and the drama of life. And I've always been a, attracted to the Psalms because there's one for everything you go through. That is awesome. The ups and downs of life, which are just a natural part of life. That's just how it is. It really is. I think it- too, too many of us don't take the overview. We think the short term is the end. You're in the middle of the story. It's not over yet. That's great. And we always want to get to the end for some reason. We think it's about the end. It's about the process. It's about the journey of it. It's not like about the end of the I- song. It's about the music. You don't want to get to the you end of the You want to enjoy it all. You want to enjoy it all. Yeah, and there is, there's probably, you know, I, in, I come from a physical perspective, and what I notice in terms of physical discomfort is if you can find it in a strange kind of way, there's a, there's a link to, there's a connection between pleasure and pain. 
Now, some people really take advantage of this, and there's kind of weird sort of BDSM kind of bondage and, and domination kinds of things, but even like a cramp or even a muscle pain or, or a burn, if you focus on the pain, there's kind of a connection there between pain and pleasure. They're not so dissimilar in a way. Is that, does that make sense to you? Well, when I was going through cancer treatments, I had breast cancer in 1998. I had chemotherapy and radiation every day for six weeks. And anytime something hurt, I would just say, Regina, it's just pain. You're alive mm -hmm. and you can feel it. And it was a get-to because I'm still here. And so pain is sometimes my body reminding me I have a body to take care of. How much of what we consider pain and we consider it to be misery or we consider it to be problem is labeling? Is actually how we're naming it. Well, my friend Roe used to say, it's just life. It's not impossible. It's just life. And it's going to be bumpy. And you wouldn't want it any other way. You know, the movie Parenthood, at the end of it, the woman talks about some people choose the merry-go-round. They go around and around. She goes, I want the roller coaster. And I think we all really want the roller coaster. We say we don't, but yeah. you don't want to be on the merry-go-round and have everything predictable all the time. Yeah, actually, there's biochemistry in place when we're scared or when, when something, something seems unpleasant. There's biochemistry in place. It's not all that distinct from the biochemistry of pleasure. I mean, cortisol, which is your body's stress hormone, is when cortisol levels go up, we actually don't necessarily immediately feel discomfort. Sometimes we actually feel pleasure. And when people take a drug called prednisone, which is a cortisol analog, one of the, uh, one of the benefits, if you will, or effects is that you can actually feel high from it. You can actually get a buzz from cortisol or stress hormone. I think that's why people like bungee jumping and, and, and horror movies and seemingly distressful situations, if they're labeled appropriately, can actually be considered something that people want to do. People actually want to jump off of a bridge hanging by a rubber band somehow. <laughs> and I just read for excitement. <laughs> you're, not, you're not up for doing any bungee jumping? Or cliff not diving? Or <laughs> no, you know, I look at my bucket list. My bucket list is my there? grandchildren named Asher, Ainsley, and River. They're my bucket list. I, I love playing hide and seek at the age of 58. <laughs> Skydiving's not in it on your bucket list? No, you know, what's funny is I used to think I had to have something that wowed me, that made me feel alive. And after cancer, every day makes me feel alive. Oh, Honestly, that's great. When I wake up every morning, the first thing I do is say, thank you for another day of life. And, and I don't even care what happens in this day. I get to be here to feel it. Even if something doesn't go my way, which is probably every day, I still get to go through it. It's a get-to. Was it a life-threatening kind of thing that you were going through? Like, you didn't know well, if you were going to make had, it? I had stage 2 cancer. The, the problem is in my family, we have one of those... Uh, uh, genetic flaws, uh, BRCA, BRCA1. And so I lost three aunts to breast cancer. And in my family, you get cancer, it's pretty deadly. So I got mm. cancer at 41, my aunts died at 42 and 44. So every birthday is a get-to. I celebrate getting older. Bring it on. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So who do you like for inspiration? Oh, gosh. Every, anybody can inspire me, even people that people think aren't very inspirational. I, I love to read just about anything. I mean, if I'm at a restaurant, I'll read the ads on the the, the, the placemat. I just, yeah. you never know. Everybody can inspire you. And at every book that I have been to, everybody's got a story in them of something really beautiful and magical. The world, I, I guess that's why I don't need to go bungee jumping and skydiving. I go to a book signing and people share these deep, powerful messages of their lives, and that excites me. Now, do you do, uh, do you do events of public speaking? And I know I saw some YouTubes of you, but I, do you, is it a big thing for you or is it mostly radio I, you know, and I do, media? I do public speaking and on my website, reginabright.com. People, if they want to have me speak, you know, there's information there. And I love to do that. The main thing is I love to inspire people, and I love to get inspired by people. It's a real give and take. I, I really believe there's this kind of flow of abundance in the world. And when you put abundance in the world, you get back out. What is it that makes something inspiring? Is there, can you sum it up, or is it just something you feel and you can't really necessarily describe? You know, it's, it's more like a feeling. You can feel it it's like that. My, my friend calls it when you've been doved. You know, in the Bible and anything real spiritual happens, the dove flies over Jesus, and she says, you've been doved. And you have that uh -huh. moment where you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. You feel like, oh, I've been doved. Like, you know, God just right there wow. put a little hate on you. Oh, that's great. Give us one, we're running out of time here, give us one thing you want people to take home with uh, from God is always hiring. If you had to s just c put it into, I know it's, it's 50 lessons, but if you had to sum, up in, sum it up into one or two sentences, what do you want people to understand about God is always hiring? 
I want people to understand that God has a perfect place for you alone. There's no competition for it. It's just your job to find it. If you're at a job you don't like, make it magical or say, mm. God, I'm ready for the next one. Bring it on. You don't have to be unhappy. God does not want you unhappy. Believe me. And so finding fulfilling work is not necessarily quitting your job, but it could be finding something fulfilling about the job you have now. It should be making it more magical. That's what he's a lot of jobs I had. I didn't like them, but then I, I carved out something I loved, and then the, the boss would like that better because he saw how much more I loved it, and it was better work. So they started assigning me the kind of stuff I wanted to do. And if you, if you, take, the jo- if you take the word work and replace it with the word life, everything still works, right? Everything, everything still fits. Finding fulfilling yeah. life, right? Yeah. God is always hiring 50 and- lessons for finding a fulfilling life. And real quick, one thing I have in my medicine cabinet, it was a quote by Steve Jobs who said, if today were the last day of your life, yeah. would you want to do what you're about to do today? And every day I read that, and every day I get to say yes. And I hope you do that say that yes? Do that. I say you know, yes. That's today. great. I do. That is great. You know, that, I, I have heard that quote. Have you heard his, uh, his uh, commencement speech? I think he did a commencement speech Stanford at Stanford. Stanford University. That's where I got that quote. It's beautiful. Because oh, it's so beautiful. Because cancer, and when you have cancer, yeah. the end of life is hitting you on the head every day saying, hey, what are you waiting for? Right, and it makes life so much different. If you have, if your demise is right in front of you, if you can see it right ahead of you, it changes absolutely everything. And and indeed, our demise is right ahead of us. We just can't see it. Oh yeah, and the, we all have an expiration date. You know, like cottage right. cheese and milk. We just don't know what right. it is. So right. I tell myself, Regina, live today. You don't know if right. you get tomorrow, but you got today. Yeah, you don't want to have to throw the cottage cheese out. You want to enjoy it. <laughs> That's right? right, while it's still if, good. <laughs> and while it's still good. You know, if you're aware there's an expiration date, you're going to make sure you enjoy it. Thanks so much, Regina. That was awesome. And, uh, and I'm glad you found your mission. Thank you. I appreciate that. I did find my mission. Praise God. God is always hiring. 50 lessons for finding fulfilling work. Have a beautiful day, Regina. Good to talk to you. Uh, that was Regina Brett, best-selling author. You can get her books on Amazon.com or on Kindle, and I highly recommend them. God is always hiring. 50 lessons for finding fulfilling work. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about the skin, and we'll get into some good nutrition, nutritional strategies for dealing with skin care issues, skin health issues. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Have yourselves a wonderful, spectacular, awesome day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now. has over 65 seed varieties of 34 different vegetables. Down to Earth. Who has over 63,000 seeds packaged to last 50 years. Down to Earth. Whose seeds can be frozen to maintain germination. Down to Earth seeds. No hybrids, no GMOs. Just proven old-time seed varieties grown all over the country by our grandparents. Our kids have the best variety and the largest quantities of vegetable seed for the best price. Get your food security now at downtoearthseeds.com or call 870-427-3039. It's a terrifying thought. You're trapped somewhere without a radio and no access to GCN shows. A doctor's office. The DMV. Your mother-in-law's. Come on, stay for dinner. That's what makes the newly redesigned GCN Live app a true lifesaver. Listen to your favorite GCN hosts and programming on your smartphone, wherever you are. Download yours free on iTunes or Google Play. The new GCN Live app. Don't leave home without it. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Wall & Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Wall & Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall & Associates, 1-800-425-4610.